Hi, I'm Steve Good, and welcome to another video in a series of videos that I'm trying to put together to demonstrate how to use Corel Draw as a tool for creating scroll saw patterns. Uh, you can visit my blog at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com uh, where you can find links to all the videos and free patterns and other things related to the scroll saw. What I want to do today is uh, talk about a tool that I had a request for on the blog uh, that I personally don't use very often, but it's the Bezier tool. Um, it's a difficult tool to get a good handle on as far as how to use it, but I just want to give you just a short little clip here of the basics of the Bezier tool, and then you can go off and practice it, and uh, maybe you can get better with it than I am. Okay, over here in the toolbar, there's a flyout menu. If you click and hold, and the second one over is the Bezier tool. So let's go ahead and select that tool, and then we'll talk just a second here about uh, the function of the Bezier tool. Basically, what it allows you to do is create curves. Now, each um, curve in a Bezier uh, cons is cons consists of line segments or a line segment. And every line segment begins and ends with a node. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my left mouse button and I'm going to click on the screen and I'm going to hold, continue to hold the left mouse button down. And what that will do is create a node on the screen. So you can see that blue dot, that is a node. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull away from that node and you'll see a couple arrows start to appear. These arrows allow you to assign two values to that node. Uh, the first value that we want to assign is the angle and the second ang the second uh, value that we want to assign is what's called the acceleration. So as I pull this away, continuing to hold down my left mouse button, you can see I can spin the mouse around that node and create any angle that I want. And the angle is just the direction away from the node. So in this case, let's say I want to create an angle that's going straight down and the second value that I want to create is called the acceleration, and the acceleration is defined by how long these arrows are. So in this case, I'm going to pull them out just uh, a little bit here on the screen. I'm going to release the left mouse button. I'm going to move it over to here, and then what I'm going to do is create the second node of this line segment. And again, every line segment has a beginning and an ending node. Now I'm going to take the left mouse button and click, and you can see that it began to draw the curve, and it, it started the curve at the angle that I created, and the acceleration is the amount of curve. So now I can take these on the second node and create something very similar to the first node, and you can see I get a nice smooth curve uh, created. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that same curve again, only I'm going to use the same angle but a much greater acceleration, and then I think you'll see exactly what I mean by acceleration. I'm going to left click on the screen, I'm going to pull away, create the same angle as I did in the first curve, but in this time you can see I'm creating a much greater acceleration because the arrows are longer. I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to let go of the mouse button, move over to my second node, left click, and I'm going to create the, a similar angle and acceleration value for the second node and let go, and you can see the difference between these two curves even though the angles were created the same, the acceleration was much greater in the second uh, little uh, curve I created than the first. So the acceleration is defined basically as how great or how long the curve is. So this was a, a shorter acceleration at that angle, and this was a longer acceleration at that angle. Okay, again, this uh, line segment begins and ends with a node. Now the Bezier tool is a never-ending tool. So if I do the same thing again, and I'm going to left click, hold it down, I'm going to create an angle and an acceleration, I'm going to let go, I'm going to create the second node, I'm going to create a similar angle and acceleration, now I'm going to let go and I'm going to click again over here, okay, to create a third node and a second line segment, and again I can do the same thing. I can pull out uh, the angle and the acceleration. Now I can make this angle anything I want. You can see what's happening to the curves I do. But I'm going to just create a similar uh, angle and a similar acceleration for the third node. And now you can see that I've created an S-curve here using the Bezier tool. 
So that's the basics of the Bezier tool. Take some practice to get good with. You can use this tool to outline patterns. Um, personally, I find the pen tool a little easier to do that with, but uh, that's how the Bezier tool works. Probably the last thing that you need to know about the Bezier tool is that the shape tool will work on Bezier curves. So if you go up here to this flyout right here and select the shape tool, if you come down, if you click on these nodes, you'll see that you get these arrows back again. And you can grab these arrows after you've created the curve and redefine the shape. Um, also, you'll notice I clicked on the middle node of these two line segments. Uh, if I click on the middle node, it gives me the arrows for all three nodes. If I just click on the end node, I only get the arrows for the two. So basically, the way it works is whatever node you click on, it gives you the line segment to the node next to it. So in this case, I had a node on each side, so it gave me both of them. So again, you could go back at this point and increase the acceleration, which would give you a greater curve, or you can change the angle, which would change the shape of the curve. So I think that's uh, pretty much everything you need to know about the Bezier tool. Again, you're going to have to practice with this one. It's a little tough to use. Okay, I hope this uh, video gave you a little something that you can use in your uh, scroll saw patterns. And uh, please visit my blog at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. Uh, you can find other videos there like this one, plus free patterns and other things for the scroll saw. Uh, have a good day, and we'll catch you in the next video.